Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. It is a beautiful Wednesday. Just got home a little early from work. There's a 76 or 78 Super Beetle in my local You Pull It junkyard. Uh, there was a fire car, there was a fire in the engine bay. But I went over there and turned the crank pulley. The motor's still free. It's a dual port 1600, one of the newer ones. So I'm gonna try to run in there real quick and grab this motor. All right, here's the suspect here. Let's see if the motor's still in it. It was last weekend, it's Wednesday now. All right, it don't look like much here, but it's freed up. It's a dual port. This thing is a 1978 so it should have originally been a fuel injected one i think i see it's got a fuel pump on it though it's got an electronic ignition pretty much everything up top here is trashed i'm really buying this from the heads to the heads to have another good block crank and a set of dual port heads here anyway time's ticking i got a storm coming and i gotta be out of here in 45 minutes so let's get this thing out I don't know how to get to the top bell housing bolts. Also, the car is being supported on its own exhaust. That ain't gonna work for me either. So I got a couple issues going on here right now. Take okay. Ain't that heavy, but but I gotta get this thing up. Go a little bit of this action. Oh. Regardless, I need to get to these upper bolts. I don't know how to do it on a convertible. The shelf is right here. I don't know what I'm missing, but on these convertibles, you just have to take the fan shroud off to get this crap off the back to get to the bolts. I don't know. So much plastic melted on here, I can't even get the generator off. All right, now we're talking. Let me get this all pulled out. You can see the car is pretty melted. With this shroud right here, I don't know how I was ever supposed to get to that bolt with the fan shroud on. I mean, it's gonna be a little tricky even just to get to this one with it being blatantly exposed. So I, I'm sure there's a trick to get this out with the fan shroud on, but I have not found it. And I don't have the time today to learn. I probably should have watched more YouTube before I attempted this, but no problem. I can see it's got eight millimeter head studs, which is good. Uh, yeah, it's a chrome oil filler. And uh, oh yeah, yeah baby, we got the chrome in there. Got the bottom bolts out. I got one more up here. And I think we're ready to kick her free. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This one's a through bolt? No, come on, no. Now, 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 what the heck is going on here? What the heck? Why 
would they do that? I'd have a motor out of a BMW 3 Series or 5 Series before this, guaranteed. I feel like an idiot working on this thing. Now what can I do to drop this bad man jam on the ground? <clears throat> Alright, she's coming out. Off there's a baby's bottom. We got a motor laying on the ground, so now I gotta lift the car off the motor. We gotta pack up my tools. I cannot believe how dirty I am after this job. I mean, I thought this was gonna be a quick 45 minuter. It was a 45 minuter, but it didn't feel quick and it was a pain in the ass. So let me get the car off this motor and we're gonna get out of here. Anyway, I know this thing was fairly well cared for. That's why I decided to pull this motor. I mean, it's got a you know, pretty fresh clutch on it. Uh, it's got a little aftermarket exhaust action. I'm all loaded up. I can take just the engine, clutch, flywheel. The exhaust can stay. It was all rotted off in the back. I was going to resell it, but screw it. Let's get out of here. Let's examine our loot here, see what we got. Yes, I live close enough to not even bother strapping it down. She's toasty, but looking in here, everything looks normal. I guarantee you once I pull all these tins off and all this burnt crap, short block's gonna be very nice. Don't know how well you can see that, but this is a Brazilian 043 block. Uh, which means it's not an OEM. Well, it's an OEM, but it probably isn't the block that came in this car. It's probably one that someone bought to build a motor at some point. So, I don't know enough about these to uh, determine, you know, how old this block is. But it is a OEM Volkswagen replacement block. I know that. Uh, it's nothing special. It's still magnesium. It's dual relief for oil. Uh, couple other things i'm not a volkswagen expert i'm sure you guys know more about it than i do let's pull a cylinder head off measure the bore and stroke and make sure all that's stock Okay, well, I am happy I decided to take it apart. Just got water in the cylinders, so I'm going to have to clean this thing up. The head's definitely got a little bit of uh, corrosion in the center there. We got a stink bug permanently built in. However, I didn't know there was gonna be water in here. There's still oil in the crankcase. Anyway, I'm glad I pulled this apart. I'm gonna clean these up and hone them and oil them and get them on the shelf before this gets worse. Cylinder comes out to about 85 and a half, so that is a stock bore. Let's check the stroke. And it turns out to be a 69 millimeter stroke. So this is indeed a factory bore and stroke, 1600 dual port. Gone ahead and torn the motor down to just the long block here. I got a lot of cleanup to do on this. I mean, look at all this melted crap everywhere. You know, the block's covered in it back here. It's just melted goop from the car melting around it. Um, this electronic ignition, I think I can save it. We'll see if it still works, but I can splice the wires in there. It doesn't look like the distributor got too hot inside. She shot though, but that's all right. Got some junk tins to pull off of here still. Um, but looking in the crankcase, everything looks great. Way better than the last motor I did. 
Cylinder heads, man, cylinder one and two, minty. Very nice, nothing to really do to that head. This one here, one combustion chamber got water in it, gotta clean that up. Got all the pistons here, I'll get them all cleaned up, get the cylinders honed, get oil in them, put them into storage. Anyway, so uh, basically I'm just gonna tear this motor to pieces and put it in storage. I grabbed it because it was a good opportunity. Um, in my area, people are selling a, just a set of heads for like 150, 200 bucks for dual port heads. Grab the whole motor for less than that. That way I got a good bottom end to start with. Maybe we'll put a stroker in it, maybe we won't. Maybe I'll find something cheap online to put in it. I'd like to go dual carbs. I probably won't use these, I'll resell them. Maybe we'll put bigger bore cylinders on it. Who knows, the, opp the opportunities are endless. I don't have any plans as of now other than just collecting parts and see where it goes. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage. I'll catch you next time.